Titan Warfare is back. By some small miracle gifted to us from the gods above, Titan Warfare had a resurgence of players. For those who may not know what this game is, I used to play it a lot back in the day. There weren't a whole lot of videos on it, but I put hours and hours and hours into this game, but unfortunately, it fell off hard. And because of that, the developers decided to cut their losses and basically shut down everything. The Discord server was on indefinite lockdown. No servers were open. The game fell to like, I don't know, 200, 300 players. It was all but gone. And despite that, here I am playing the game and it has over 5,000. So, okay, um, what the f happened? <laughs> well, I think the answer to what the f happened is actually really, really simple. Uh, and it's something that I think a lot of people have already grasped the concept of, but just recently, Attack on Titan's first part of its ending, which honestly is its own conversation because that sh gets me frustrated. Regardless, the first part of the final part of Attack on Titan came out quite recently, and because of that, hype for Attack on Titan is at an all-time high, and obviously because of that, we've got people playing Titan Warfare. It really is that simple. But the thing about Titan Warfare, and I feel comfortable just sort of coming out and saying this, this is a doomed game. I know it's a doomed game, the developers know it's a doomed game, and I think deep down, a lot of the players playing it, especially old world players, know that it's a doomed game. And let me just make this clear. I don't like saying that because I've said it many times and I'll say it many after. This game is an accomplishment. This game is just incredible. The fact that it exists on Roblox is downright baffling. Like there's no other way around it. The developers did an absurdly good job and created, honestly, maybe one of the better games that I've played as a whole, not just on Roblox. This game is truly something to behold. Unfortunately, as I said, it's just destined for failure, and this 5,000 players isn't going to last. A few months back when the game was going downhill, I made a video called What Happened to Titan Warfare? And in that video, I explained a lot of the reasons why I felt like the game was pretty much disappearing and falling off the map. And after going back and re-watching the video, I can comfortably say that I still believe just about everything in it. But there were two main things that came up when I was talking about Titan Warfare and what its downfall was caused by. And those two things were that it's not directly catered towards most players on Roblox and that it's too hard which kind of go hand in hand if we're being honest. And the thing is, nothing has changed on that front and nothing's going to change on that front because just like I said in my video so long ago, if they did change that, it would ruin most of the game for a lot of people. So there's almost no point. And that's why I say the game is doomed to fail. Its biggest problems are something that simply can't really be fixed. The fact of the matter is, there's a lot of people playing on Roblox that aren't even using a mouse to play the game. Not only are there a lot of people that are not using a mouse, but as far as I'm aware, and this is unsubstantiated, so don't take this as law, but I'm pretty sure there are more people playing Roblox on mobile than there are on PC. And if you're looking at the gameplay right now, I think you can probably imagine why trying to play this on mobile might not be the greatest idea. You can, they put in mobile support, and I'm pretty sure they have their own mobile servers that you can play on, so at least there's that, but regardless, this game, trying to play it on mobile, I don't even want to imagine trying to do that. And so when you consider the fact that most of the people are on mobile, a ton of people that are playing aren't even using mice and they're on trackpads, and you start to see the problem. Because Roblox is a game platform that caters to people who play games where you literally just walk around and hold a singular button. Those games are played by hundreds of thousands of people. Not only is it very difficult for players who are of a lower skill level to just generally get a grasp of the game, but the fact of the matter is that Titan Warfare is a very difficult game. And it's made no better by people like me that are sweaty losers that end up getting most of the kills in the match. If you've got a game where you log in, you spawn, and then some guy with 50 kills while you have two 
flies in and kills you in an instant, that's probably not very much fun, is it? Now, the other massive issue with Titan Warfare that isn't going to be going anywhere anytime soon is the fact that people may or may not realize that this game is already effectively abandoned. I don't want to say it's abandoned because the creators reopened the Discord because of the massive influx of players and also said that they would be putting out updates to fix stuff and maybe adding some stuff later. But regardless, the point is that the developers of this game are a team of people that are working on different things. The people behind it have two other projects that they're currently actively working on. A game called Neo Soccer League and a new Jujutsu Kaisen game, which I don't think is out yet. I don't think I need to be the one to tell you that trying to concurrently work on three games at once probably isn't super healthy, nor very sustainable. So think about this from the developer's perspective. Imagine you have three projects you're working on. One is already successful and sustainable, one you haven't released yet but you're passionate about, and one just got a sudden influx of players solely because media related to that game just came out after previously the game tripped, fell down the stairs, scraped its face on the asphalt, tried to stand up, and then somehow fell off a glacier. Like, I don't think the developers are stupid. I I'm pretty sure they can see the writing on the walls here, and they full well know it won't last, but I'm also pretty sure that they're really happy that the game finally got some more attention. Because it's clear a lot of time and effort went into Titan Warfare, and it's a shame to just sort of see most of that go to waste. Anyways, that's really the consensus of the video. Titan Warfare is back, that's cool, but I don't see it lasting that long. I've had a bunch of people asking me if Titan Warfare videos were going to come back, if I was going to make guides for the game again, if I was going to make videos playing it, and I'm just going to get it right out of the way right now, probably not. I have played a lot of Titan Warfare, and while coming back for this video, I had a lot of fun once again, there's only so much Titan Warfare that I can play. Not only that, but I've sort of had a falling out with the guide-ish videos recently, and I've just been trying to do other things, and because of that, I don't really know what I would put out on Titan Warfare. I had some live commentaries I did a long time ago, but pretty much all of those fell on their face, so I'm not going to be attempting that again, unless people really want it and are super vocal about it. Anyways, this video wasn't too long, but that's what I wanted to say. If you haven't played Titan Warfare and this is your first time being exposed to it, I highly recommend it because this game is extremely well made. Just meticulously crafted it's phenomenal and the link will be in the description so go ahead and go over there and play the game while you can because i can't guarantee how long there are going to be players playing it so who knows how long of a window you have to be playing this game at its peak with that though i am done here so if you enjoyed the video you can leave a like subscribe if you didn't don't and with all that being said have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and i'll see you next time Show us love.